as the first siren is about to sound. The rain has become a little steady, but it is not yet heavy. So here we go, the knockout final in season 88. A bounce that favours O'Dwyer and Melbourne looking to go into attack. O'Dwyer over the ball, no one able to get it out effectively. It's pushed wide over the head of Keane. Trying to soccer forward was Laidley. A chance now for Johnson of the Demons. Support from Lovett. He takes it from the half-back line, going out wide towards the wing. Looking for and finding Earl Spalding. Good mark. Under plenty of opposition, Spalding goes onto the left foot. Swings it down towards half forward. Jackson is the danger man down in that pocket. Can't get there, however. It's Phil Scott, who's starting on the ground, tries to get the hand pass away. It's effective, going back towards the half-back line. Unable to mark was Murray Rance. Support again from Dean Laidley, although he's been pressured by Healy, who soccers off the ground, doesn't gather a lot of distance, and Worsfold will pick it up. It's at half-back flank for the Eagles. The kick by Worsfold is out wide, and Mark has been taken by Johnson. Alan Johnson, very experienced campaigner. Kicks the Demons into attack now, up towards centre-half forward. Out of position was Lyon, and the mark has been taken very, very comfortably by O'Connell. Laidley, is it? Laidley on half-back, kicks it out wide now, towards the wing. Attempted mark by Gastev, punch off the ground is effective for the Demons, and it's over the line for a boundary throw-in. So, very steady rain falling at VFL Park. John Todd assessing the scene, perhaps trying to find any Melbourne changes at this early stage of the match. In front, Steins. Keane gets the tap out. It's an effective one. Close to the boundary line. Lewis and Lamb. And it goes over. It is on the full. The appeal was from Alan Johnson. And the boundary umpire right on the spot. The free kick will go to Melbourne. Greg Healy played a tremendous game. Much improved form from him last week. His kick towards centre-half forward. Yates. Oh, good play by Rance. Malaxos gets the hand pass back to Rance. Rance now up through the centre. Kicks towards half-forward. And there's a good mark taken there by O'Connell. Off it goes to Lewis. Lewis's kick off the side of his boot. And it's effective for the Eagles because Lockyer, named at fullback, starting in the forward pocket, has taken the mark inside 50 metres. Yes, a couple of changes from, from both coaches. Uh, David Hart's on the wing on main wearing, and Lockyer, as you called it, in up forward. Lockyer's kick is not bad. Close to the line, O'Dwyer helps it through for the first score of the elimination final. And it's a behind to the Eagles. So they've started steadily. Maybe the Demons perhaps a little bit uh, excited in the final for 88. The kick in, the half back. Two Eagles players, Langdon. Oh, well tackled by Dersma. Pick up by Gwitters. Good football by the Demons. Kick the slews off the side of his boot towards centre wing. Boundary line looming up. And the players can't really do much to keep it in. We'll have a boundary throw in on set a week. Yeah, and just to, just to repeat what I said before, David Hart's actually playing on stretch. Main Waring was named on stretch. That's one of the subtle moves across the centre of the ground. Here's the throw in. Just the one score on the board. That to the Eagles. As Healy sends Melbourne into attack again. Down towards that left half forward flank. Turner is there, however, for the Eagles. Goes back towards Keane. And the big man takes it on his chest. Swings play back into the centre. A couple of options. He picks out Malaxos. Malaxos will steady and go towards Gastev. On the edge of the square. He decides to go directly down the ground. Glenn Dinning is the target. Love it coming in from the side. Waiting down in front is Carl Langdon. Hooks it over his body. How's the bounce going to be? Another behind goes on the board for the Eagles. Just looking off the ball. Uh, Lamb is actually going to tag Healy. And Turner would, would appear to be playing on Jackson. Probably go on and off the ball with those two players. Two points on the board to the West Coast Eagles. O'Dwyer in front at the back is big Laurie Keane. Support from Lockyer, and he's going to need it too. Keane just can't pick it up, but he does get it out. It is effective too to Gastev, who pushes it wide, and Main Waring takes the mark. Some 70 metres out from goal is Main Waring. He's had a fine season. Sean White got up high, danger because he's left a player at the back. Langdon will get the opportunity, and here's the first goal. First blood to the Eagles, and Carl Langdon, already with his second shot at goal, <coughs> as Ross Glendinning, I believe, tried to soccer off the ball off the ground. It was probably the right play. It's just that he was so clear as it came over the back. Glendinning tries to wait for it to sit, but does ordinarily bounce, and Langdon's pretty happy about that first goal to the Eagles. Already, Carl Langdon, a couple of important touches early in the game, in very good form of late. 
So West Coast, 1-2-8, lead Melbourne yet to score. They've got the ball out of the uh, out of the centre. It's at half forward, kick out by Dersma, out wide to the wing, and a well-judged mark taken by Miles, maybe 50 metres? No, umpires are right on the spot, and Brian Wilson stands his ground. The kick towards half forward, and a good mark in these conditions taken by Gastev. Gastev too far out to score. Kicks it into the pocket, Glenn Denning. Too easy for the Eagles. And 40 metres out, Ross Glendinning will have their second shot for goal within about three minutes. Wasn't that an excellent mark and then an equally good kick from Gastev to set up Ross Glendinning. Certainly within kicking distance. Tight angle. High shot. Goes just across the face. It'll be thumped through for a behind to the Eagles. So they go to 1-3-9. And in the early minutes, they're looking pretty good. Danny Hughes bring the ball back into play, back to Sean White in the back pocket. White goes long, looking for stretch. Can't complete the mark. Miles towards the boundary line, and over it goes for a throw in. Yes, John Todd has certainly done his homework. He's, he's got a lot of players running with the Melbourne players. Nearly everyone would have a task in this Eagles side. The Eagles lead by nine points. Keane pushes it down. Socket off the ground by Lamb and straight to Grinter. To half forward. At the back, Newport and Mainwaring. Great interception by McKenna. The sweeping hand passes across to Rance. And once again, the Eagles are out of trouble. Going up towards Lockyer on the half forward line. He takes it on the chest. They're doing all the attacking, playing in front. Langdon drifting into the pocket. He gets there. And it really is an unusual forward setup with, with Lockyer, Scott, and also Glenn Denning. Three big guys down there in that full forward line but already proving very effective and in these conditions you wouldn't think that would be so. Grinter's had a few touches but this guy's had three or four too. Carl Langdon from just inside 50 metres. He's a left footer, pushes it into the square, O'Dwyer is there, who's waiting down? Gastev was there, couldn't take it, straight picks it up, he goes high. Can anyone get there in time? Hart has the chance. Picks it up now. Has to backpedal a little, but sensibly so, because he finds Keane, who sprints away. Goes long in towards full forward. Sean White tried to tap it over the line, which could turn out to be dangerous. Socket to stretch. Shrugs the tackle. And this time gets Melbourne out of trouble. Going over the head of Lamb towards Healy. Going to be kept in play by Spalding. But his kick under pressure is wide. It goes out of bounds on the full So at the moment, this things falling into place for the West Coast Eagles. Yes, that was a good gather by Spalding, but uh, just a little bit of pressure by the Eagles. And it gives them a chance to go back into attack. Miles, looked for the option, went for it. Langman couldn't take the mark. Kick away by Johnson, in towards the centre. And there's the man who's best on the field so far in this match, Laurie Keane. Tremendous. He's controlled around that centre. His left foot kicked towards centre half four, drops in short. O'Dwyer can't mark, Gastev to Lewis, Lewis's quick kick comes out, Yates can't control it, Malaxos just outside 50 metres, hand pass intercepted, Johnson good play, Turner harassed off the football, the kick back into the centre, no mark, Miles the first to recover, gets the handball wide, McKenna with a bit of composure, his hand pass is not quite as effective as he would like but Horsfold tidies up and the pass out wide finds Lamb, Lamb now runs up towards the centre half forward position, kicks it into the pocket, Tremendous gather by Glenn Denning. Langdon shrugs the tackle, gets the hand pass off to Hart. Here's another goal coming up for the Eagles. It's into the square and there's a mark being taken there by Lockyer. So the Demons defence under pressure and it's not very tight at all. Oh, it was tremendous pressure then. They, they really are struggling to get it past half forward. Melbourne. Lockyer's kick is a goal. And second goal to the Eagles. And the two... Goal scorers Langdon and Lockyer have been very prominent up forward. Tremendous team play then in flipping the ball around. Really did keep their composure. Langdon did very well to get across to Hart. Hart had the option of Glenn Denning. Elected to go to the square. And Lockyer really with too much room there. Right on the goal line. And kicked truly for their second goal. What a terrific start from the Eagles. 15 points the margin. A fine start for the West Coast Eagles, the underdogs, the visitors, but they're taking all before them at the moment. Admittedly, it's still very, very early days. Here's Keane, 
He's had a great start. It'll do his confidence the world of good. From the middle, who's going to be first to get it out? Gastev is harassed. Yates picks it up, goes wide. The kick is not a good one. Straight to Laidley. Gets his kick in time. Johnson and Malaxos. Johnson soccers off the ground. Jackson slips but does get boot to ball. Now an opportunity for Melbourne through Viney. And his kick is wide. So we'll see another throw in. I would suggest what you've said to Ian Sandy about O'Dwyer. There's been some concern because Steins is on the ball. This has been very much earlier than what he has been of late. Tends to play the set position for a lot longer. Steins changing jumpers. I'm used to seeing him in the customary number 11. Not today. Lovell finds Jackson. Melbourne want to score. They want to try and stop the run. Miles runs straight across, however, and takes it over the line. So, a throw in on the outer side. The uh, Melbourne bench there. I guess that John Northey would be a little concerned. Even though it's still pretty early, the Eagles have done it pretty well. O'Dwyer tapped to the back. Gastev's kick well smothered. Chance for Jackson. Held. Scott. Can't break clear. Tap on. Underneath it, Gastev off to turn. It was a throw. And umpire Cameron was right on the spot. And you've been caught, Johnny Gastev. And the free kick will go to Melbourne. Just inside the 50-metre mark. And it'll be taken out there by Jackson, is it? Deep very very deep in the uh, in the pocket one wonders whether he can get the distance the flags don't indicate very much wind at all so Jackson with the wet ball punch towards goal good distance nearly a mark there's a chance for Rance lots of pressure there put on by Greg Healy and no one really can do much with the football Murray Rance picks himself up and will have a bounce it's about 15 or no, a bit closer perhaps to the Melbourne goal difficult angle for a snapshot from this ruck contest O'Dwyer gets it out towards Lovell kick off the ground oh, oh. clean bowls Gastev Spalding off to Yates Yates is kick into the pocket Wilson being attended closely by McKenna handball by Rance finds the safety of the boundary line so Melbourne with their first foray up forward and it's been unproductive so far Robert Flower on the bench a very concerned onlooker, O'Dwyer. Scott doing well to put himself in front. Chance for Rance, looking for Laidley. Lyons in there on the bottom of the pack. Good tackle, umpire Cameron says you've dropped it, Greg Healy, and the free kick will go to the Eagles. Yeah, just looking at that about Phil Scott there, he's, he's actually playing at full back on Steins and O'Dwyer when they're resting. So Scott actually up in defence, and it's David O'Connell playing up forward. Lamb finds worse fold. He goes long to centre wing. Fisted towards the middle. The race is on. Johnson will be first to it. On to the left foot he goes. Taking it across the ground, but virtually straight towards McKenna. He's claimed and beautifully tackled. Has lost the football. Goes in again, however. But can't get it out. The umpire's calling the advantage. Lover was a little undecided for a moment. This time he finds his mark and finds his skipper. Healy. From 60 metres out, Melbourne looking to regain some composure after a great start by the Eagles as Lyon shoots towards goal. He's off target and one behind. And the first real opportunity then for Melbourne. But the last three or four minutes, they've just turned the game around. They've, the Eagles controlled the first eight or nine minutes and, and really this last three or four minutes, Melbourne have started the pressure back onto the Eagles. Well, sometimes you can be a little bit hepped up uh, before a match as Miles kicks the ball in. Demons may have been suffering there for the first few minutes. In towards the centre, the advantage is paid. Hart through the centre, up to half forward, and Langdon, dangerous player across the half forward line. Rodney, Grid Rodney Griddle, you'll have to tighten up. Quick kick by Langdon in the Lockyer direction, and there's a bit of strength. Bustles Sean White out of it, and Lockyer takes the mark. He's looking for Glenn Nenny, punched away. Chance now for Lovett, he leaves it behind. Malaxos, Lewis. Shoots for goal and hooks it too far. Didn't get the distance anyway. And Dersman knocks it over for another Eagles behind. So 2-4, 16. And the Melbourne side have only kicked one behind. Hughes again. But uh, he's waiting for Dersma to just clear away. So we'll take the kick again. Yes, uh, Lovett's pick-up attempt really wasn't wet weather stuff, was it? it really ran to the side of the ball with one hand. 
you really must try and get your body behind the ball in these slipperier conditions. Good crowd. Yes, it has built up late, hasn't it? A lot of people coming in very late. Hughes going long. Langdon Shepherd it out. Stretch at the back. Melbourne into attack. Deep towards half forward. Wilson looking for the free kick, but the advantage is paid. Viney now with a chance. On his hammer is Laidley. Still with Viney. Gets his kick, goes over the head of Laley, over Jackson. Lyon giving support, he snaps in towards goal. And there's going to be a free kick. A free kick in the pocket to Gary Lyon. Yes, what a tremendous breakaway from Melbourne then. Because the ball went over the back in these slippery conditions, the ball is going to go over the back a fair bit. And Melbourne, on occasions, have just started to get those players in and around the ball, and especially at the back. It is on a very, very tight angle. Should hold He's the ball up. Use the banana kick or check side. Has he bent it back enough? No, he has not. In fact, it has gone out of bounds on the full. He really needs to hold the ball at more of an angle, so he hit it on the point. He really did hold the ball too flat. Main wearing a fine mark. He's had a good season. Well, some loose players for the Eagles around. McKenna, a chance to scoot off. On to Lamb. Johnson chasing, but Lamb gets his kick. Good pressure, however, because the ball dropped short and was taken by Lovett. He immediately heads back over centre wing once again. Main wearing came over the top. Turner showing desperation, lunges, gets it out to McKenna. Now Lamb again. They're starting to run with it. Main wearing. Malaxos going with him, but again the kick drops short, and again it's taken by Johnson. So uh, some poor play there by both sides. Johnson's kick up towards half forward. No mark taken by Rance. He's there to have another go at it to help McKenna out. McKenna's short kick and falls in the arms of Greg Healy. He was looking to play on but really didn't get that opportunity. He's on centre wing, out of side. The Demons kicking to the main scoreboard end. No real breeze to speak of at, at half forward. Spalding, good gather, up towards full forward. At the back, O'Dwyer can't mark. Good play by Scott to put himself in front. Punch away by Warsfold. Another punch by Hart back into the centre. Malaxos off the ground. Gastev, good running by Hart. And he's kicked the ball now towards centre half forward for the Eagles. A little nudge out. Kick off the ground now. It's up on half forward flank for the Eagles. Hughes plays it on in front of himself. Harassed there by Glenn Denning, but it goes over for a Bambi throw in. So it came forward with a fair amount of precision there from the Eagles, messed up at half forward. Boundary throw in about 60 metres out from the Eagles' goal. 2 4 plays one behind. 10 minutes remaining in the first quarter. Lamb kick around the corner inside 50. Still too far out to score. What can come of this? Alan Johnson tidies up at the back. Experienced campaigner. Hand passes off to Grinter. Grinter with no one to kick to. Kicks to the wide open spaces of the members' wing. Chance here for Hart. Hart on centre wing. Short pass. Should be effective. Malaxos is there to help out. Poor effort by Miles. He goes back after it again. Hand pass long. Langdon. Hand pass over the top. Warsfold. Kick gets away towards full forward. A punch out wide towards the forward pocket. Gastev can grab the football. It's very slippery. Now Dersma to tidy up. The hand pass is too high. Punch away by O'Connell. Now the hand pass comes out and goes straight through Stretch's legs. Stretch off the ground. Lyon can't control it. The ball very, very difficult to handle. And it goes over for a boundary throw in at half forward for the Eagles. Yes, yeah, certainly. Very slippery conditions. Uh, all players having trouble then. As we wait for this boundary throw in. 15 points the margin, favouring the Eagles. Stretch, hurriedly onto the left foot. Laidley will not get there in time. And so another throw in to take place. It's just a little point, Sandy, that you'll see the boundary umpire just help wipe the ball a little bit before he throws it. And the next grab after this is always, if you can get it, you can grab hold of it, just like that one. Stretch again. Going short and the diving mark is taken by Lyon, who's down on the defensive side of centre wing. Goes short, and not a good kick. Healy and Lamb see it over the line. Poor play, and usually the Demons are quick to take advantage of that and move it so quickly. Well, the Eagles have got a great start. The rain has cleared. Keane wins the tap, trying to knock it on for Hart to get the run. 
Johnson intercepts. Just goes with a hurried kick towards the boundary line. And so another throw. Sandy, I'd, I'd suggest that the umpires have really let this game go so far. Not that there's been a lot of packs, both sides play similar, but they haven't played those ticky touchwood free kicks yet. Which has made it a better spectacle. Sure. From the throw in hard. Laidley. Under pressure. Kicks back, kicks wide. And it doesn't matter anyway because the mark is taken by Johnson. Well, a big day for this man, former West Australian. No doubt many people in the West will be watching his game with interest as the diving mark is taken by Newport. Plays on. Into the middle. The slippery ball is making it tough. Lewis does the shepherding work, and heavy work it was too. Main wearing back to Lewis. A high kick. Still virtually in the middle. Miles couldn't take it. Grinter can. Wide towards Laidley. He has support. He needs support too because he's pressured over the line by Todd Viney, Dwayne Lamb. So a throw in in Melbourne's left half forward flank. But up there only just into attack. Marginally under seven minutes remaining in this first quarter. So far, one that has belonged to the West Coast Eagles. The play is on centre wing, member side. Perhaps just slightly favouring the Demons and... Their moves up forward have really produced nothing. Umpire Cameron. Punch out by Steins. Pick up by Stretch. Not a bad tackle by Hart. Deemed to be fair by the umpire. Steins underneath it. Tries to flip out the back. Stretch. Can't get space really to do anything with the football. And he's hurried across the boundary line by Gastev. So we've got another boundary throw in. It's about 25 metres nearer to the Eagles goal now. And getting close to quarter time, Steins takes the football. Dersma just gets his kick away towards Healy. Healy held, playing for the free kick. Play on to the umpire. Healy's kick in towards the forward pocket area. Wilson, first real touch that Brian Wilson's had, overruns it. Flipped out of the um, hands of and over the boundary line by Warsfold. So just inside 50 metres, we've got another boundary throw in. Extremely difficult conditions. We've had a fair amount of rain since midday here in Melbourne and now the football pretty hard to handle Lamb off the ground Steins one against three Melbourne teamwork not all that good Lamb goes after it gets the handball wide chance now for Hart he's got a little bit of space kicks it towards half forward at the back Lewis gives it a little bit of a bump or goes straight through Hughes's legs Langdon just needed, needed to keep his footing couldn't quite do so love it kick off the ground close to the line Johnson out the back Dersma Gets his kick away. It's ineffective. Chance for Grinter to run Lewis down. He does. Malaxos. Kicking towards half forward. Half back now. Stretch tidies up. Kicks it wide. High ball. Coming in. Good judgment. has been shown by Healy at the back and he takes the mark. Play on. Yates out wide. He hasn't done much so far in the first quarter. Yates is kicked into the forward pocket. No mark taken by Spaulding. Punched away by Rance. He does well to recover. Handballs it off to McKenna. McKenna time to steady. Has a look up towards centre wing, and the mark is taken by David O'Connell. Play on is the call. Lamb under pressure. So too McKenna. Lamb again, but he can't pick up the slippery ball. Lyon comes through. Now Melbourne go forward. Down towards the 50 metre line. Scott and Keane both try and fist it away. Rance at the bottom. Tackle too high. And he'll be free kick. So he's at half back. Drifting it short to Miles. Sweeping hand pass to Gastev in the middle. Gets his kick as unloaded. Glendinning, well spoiled. Waiting down his stretch. It'll be a great duel that one between Hughes and Glendinning. Todd Viney's at the bottom. And he'll send Melbourne into attack. They want a goal. Goes deep in towards the forward line. At the back is Jackson, chasing his turner. Jackson hurriedly onto the right boot, flicks it back in towards goal, and it's taken by Healy, who goes. First run on the board for the Demons, kicked by their captain. Yes, and it's taken them a long, long time. Uh, just over three minutes to go in this quarter, and the first goal for the Demons and their captain, Greg Healy. In fact, the two taggers, as we look, Jackson was the one that got it, Lamb just gave Healy a bit too much room then. 
and Healy the presence of mind not to put his foot over the line but just to dribble over the dribble with the kick in their first goal. Gee, it was a good kick by Jackson. So Eagles lead by nine points as Melbourne kicked their first goal of the elimination final. Three minutes remaining in the first quarter. Worsfold diving on it and the umpire will have to bounce again. Only two or three metres away from the centre circle. O'Dwyer, Keane does well, he's killed them in the ruck. Malaxos kick off the side of his boot. Langdon leads, flipping it on in front of him. It's probably dry weather football, Carl. Now he oh. goes after it again. Brilliant football, Langdon. Left foot kick towards full forward. At the back, no mark taken by Lockyer. Hughes under pressure, kicks it off the ground. It finds the safety of the boundary line and will have a boundary throw in very near the small scoreboard at Waverley. Just outside the 50 metre mark. The Eagles leading by nine points. Melbourne goal coming through the quick work of Ricky Jackson. Out the back to Gastev. Playing for the free kick. O'Dwyer trying to crash his way through. And Doug Coop on the ground. The free kick has been picked out of it by umpire Cameron. And it'll go to O'Dwyer. Didn't quite pick, off, pick up who went off for Coop. O'Dwyer's kick towards centre wing. No one can take the mark. Lyons kick out the back. Jostle for possession. Viney and Laidley. Laidley a very, uh, giving away quite a few kilos there to Todd Viney. But he did well and took it over the line for another boundary throw in. The play between wing and half forward on the outer side. There's Anthony Lovell, obviously the player that uh, Doug Coop took over from. And we've got another boundary throw in. The back was lined. Gastev unable to take it at the first attempt. Gets crunched, but tries to spoon it out. He's looking for Chris Mainwaring. There's a free kick come out of it. Jeff Miles not liking the attention paid to him. It's like Chief Littlewolf looking for a deck there on <laughs> Gary Lyon, isn't he? So once that has been sorted out... The ball will go back because it was the kick was taken subsequently went out of bounds and now Keane's got to come back in again to do the ruck work with O'Dwyer. From the tap out, Lamb overruns it, Healy. A quick kick, a high kick going back towards centre wing. Lyon well spoilt by Miles. Mainwaring on his hammer is Newport and with just under one minute remaining a throw in again on that outer side. Newport looks as though he's got the job to stay with Mainwaring. Big job for him today, nine points is the difference. Favouring the Eagles. Coop towards half forward. Fisted down again towards Mainwaring. Jackson will chip in in front, but he needs help. He's got it in Newport. Great tackle by Lewis, however. Puts him under pressure. Viney lost it. Mainwaring does it again. Going in towards centre. Langdon. Johnson had to stand his ground. Malaxos over the top. Takes it now. Pushing it wide. Here comes Glendinning on the half volley. He can't take it. Over the top came Hughes. Glendinning recovers to Gastev. Crunched as he took his kick and was forced to go wide. Hart won't be able to keep it in play. And so a throw in to take place. Close to siren time in this first quarter. And there it is, in fact. It's quarter time here in the elimination final. And at the end of the first break, we find the West Coast Eagles. Two goals, four, 16, leading Melbourne, 1-1-7. Langdon keeps his cool. And then David Hart kicks to the square where who's there but Andrew Lockyer to kick their second goal. So we're set now to go into the second quarter here at the elimination final with the West Coast Eagles leading by nine points. Worsfold tries to push them down to the half forward line. Langdon has been dangerous. Lost possession on that occasion. Lamb gets a hurried kick down towards Lewis who's been quiet in the first quarter. Can't get the football on this occasion however. And we will see another bounce from umpire Peter Cameron. Barry Cable on the Eagles bench. A man who certainly knows all about finals football is Cable. As the Demons get out of trouble, going back towards the centre. Lyon's got to stand his ground. Waiting in front of the pack is Stephen Stretch, who's done well to half forward. The Demons would love the first goal in the second quarter. Jim Steins comes out, tries to push the ball wide, but it's taken by Lamb who goes out towards the wing. Leading in the race is Newport. 
shoved off the football by Chris Mainwaring and subsequently out of bounds and a throw in on centre wing. Just a good indication there was Lamb's kick. He was very clear of that pack and really didn't look and that's probably just those nerves are settling down and playing in their first final. So O'Dwyer gets the tap out down towards Healy. Mainwaring flip out, chance for Lewis. O'Dwyer battling against Lamb and Coop there for Melbourne. But umpire Sheehan decides on a bounce. Umpire Sheehan and umpire Cameron officiating this afternoon. And no bouncing. So obviously the conditions are pretty heavy down there on ground level. Keane takes a free kick out of that ruck duel. No one on the mark. Undis undisciplined football by Melbourne. Keane's kick towards centre half forward. And a great mark taken down there by Dersma, who did such a wonderful job on Stephen Kernahan last week. There's a 50 metre penalty against Gastev in his endeavours to try and chase his Melbourne opponent, Johnson. Gastev gives away 50 metres on Dersma. Yes, unfortunately, so, accidents count, Ian. Yes, bad luck, but... As uh, you see it here, and it really was just bad luck, but uh, the rules are the rules. The kick by Dersma goes up to half forward, gathered by Healy. Healy's kick wide in the Steins' direction, goes through both he and Scott. Scott shows desperation, throws himself on the football. He's helped out there by Laidley. McKenna there, Yates doing it well for Melbourne. No one can break away, and umpires Cameron will come in and bounce. So the play is about 45 metres from the Melbourne goal. Half forward flank on the outer side. 2-4 the Eagles, 1-1 Melbourne. No score so far in the second term. Laidley comes over the top, Yates waiting down. Feeds it off to Coop. A high kick, but the whistle had already sounded. It'll be a West Coast free kick. It will go back to centre half back, and it will be taken by Steve Malaxos. The Demons having trouble scoring to centre wing and a good mark taken by David O'Connell Langdon wanting to go on with it oh son get it back to your teammate it's a slippery ball keep it off the ground for as long as you can O'Connell he's got a kick over the mark he's again being sent back ignores the lead of Lockyer and goes into Keane who's just about right in the middle of the ground wants to get onto a torp and it's got plenty of distance too Glenn Dinning and White jostle, waiting down Gastev. Got to get past Lovett to Main Waring. He won't get there in time. It'll beat him over the line in the left forward pocket, and he slides over. As we look there, Chris Lewis coming off the ground, and Wally Matura on the ground in his first final for the first time. Not a bad move, the small player. There's the throw in in the left forward pocket. Glenn Dinning was in front, waiting down Johnson. Claim was Rod Grinter by Wally Matera. He looked a bit anxiously at the umpire then too, didn't he, Grinter? Love it in the hands of the trainers. We'll keep an eye on him. The throw-in takes place just in front of him. We've got around 21 minutes of the second quarter remaining. There's headlocks in there. There's just about everything in there. Stale, mate. And <laughs> definitely a stale. <laughs> no one wanted to move. <laughs> and Greg Healy's at the bottom of it. So they're going nowhere fast at the moment. Bounces have been given away. Gastev, Matera, Newport. Hurried kick, but Worsfold is there and takes a good mark. Marvellous young player. Stood his ground brilliantly then. Worsfold, centering to half forward. It bounces off the chest of Dwayne Lamb. Well, if you're in front, you're going to get the opportunities. And he's got it this time. From 57 metres out, though, going in towards the pocket and over the line once again. Throw in in the left forward pocket. Actually, it wasn't great play then from there. I mean, the lead was wrong. He should have kicked it back to the goal square, and they're just falling down a little bit by going a bit wide. Both sides, actually. Boundary throw in in the Eagles' forward pocket. O'Dwyer can't get the ball down. Langdon overruns it. Matera's a chance. Hand pass is intercepted. Johnson playing very well in defence for Melbourne. Kicks it up towards the centre. Wilson, with skill, gets around Miles. Round onto the right foot. Shocking kick, but it's going to pay off. Good fortune there. Here comes Lyon. Kick up towards the full forward area. It goes through Ooh. all players at the back. Spalding into an open goal. Goes bang. Second goal to Melbourne. And the luck of the bouncing ball now. Well, you could say that, but really uh, it was Matera's handball that set that up. On his wrong side, his left hand. He tried something that was a bit fancy with a slippery ball. You really must be balanced to handball as much as kicking. 
and that Brian Wilson was a courageous mark through the middle, which ended up with Spalding after some great play through that middle area. A very, very handy goal for Melbourne, and really, that was the one they were looking for. Second goal to Melbourne. And so the margin is now just three points. The centre bounce, shepherding going on all over the place. O'Dwyer still manages to get a fist to the line, tries to poke it down towards Healy. It was intercepted, however, by Miles. Lovely hand pass on to Langley. He'll get onto his left foot. Will he get his kick in time? Not quite. Drop short at half forward. Love it. With a roundhouse left. But Mainwaring ridden into the ground by Newport. And he'll take the free kick. Well, in wet conditions, I consider Newport a little stiff there. No, I mean, I mean, he really did climb into the back. He really did chase, honestly. What about Quince's chase on Langdon? was fantastic. But really, well, as soon as he got hold of him, he should just drop to his knees, and that stops his weight from going into the back of Main Waring. Chris Lewis is spending very little time on the interchange bench. He is back on the ground at the expense of Phil Scott. Main Waring from 50 metres. Good-looking drop punt, but trying for too much distance. He's pulled it. And one behind only is the result. Yes, goals at a premium. Uh, at this stage, straight out in front, probably should have done better, Chris Mainwaring. Hughes elects to go to the outer side. Looking out there for Newport. He's got a little bit of space. Able to turn around and kick with the right foot, but it's ineffective because it went over the head of stretch into the arms of David Hart. Hart, centre wing, outer side. Kicks the Eagles back into attack. Dersmer overruns it. Gastev there. And O'Connell looking for maybe a deliberate out of bounds. But uh, Todd Viney having his turn on the interchange bench for the Demons. And Williams on the ground. Chance now for Melbourne. A quick kick out towards the wing area. Malaxos. Round onto the right foot. Kicks it back towards half forward. And a well judged mark taken there by Dersmer. Dersmer. Short kick. Yates takes it nicely. Half-back flank. Graham Yates played a tremendous game against Carlton last week. High ball towards centre wing. Or oh, nearly a mark there to Wilson. Goes after it again, Brian Wilson, but good desperation there for the Eagles by Hart. Keeps the ball in, and umpire Sheen will be forced to officiate. Both wings obviously pretty heavy, and out there Brian Sheen has elected to throw the ball in the air once again. Keane doing well in the ruck comes to the back, Rance gathers well kicks the Eagles up towards centre half forward good mark taken by Gastev oh. and nearly a 50 metre penalty, that was a bit risky by Jamie Dersma, but Gastev will go back and take his kick very difficult distance I would suggest but Gastev deciding maybe on the torpedo if he can get onto it short, in the square no mark taken by Glenn Denning. Punched away by the Demon defence. Newport leads Langdon and takes it over for another boundary throw in. Umpire Cameron says all clear. And it's about 45, 40 metres from the Eagles goal. Johnny Northy on the uh, phone to his interchange bench as the Ruckman gather at half forward for the Eagles. With just four points in it at the moment. Lewis back on the ground after a disappointing start. Holds it a little too long. Loses it to White. Goes out in front of Stretch. On his hammer is hard. Stretch. Now to Lover. Can Melbourne get something positive going? To centre wing. Over the top was McKenna. Oh, Keane put Matera under a little bit of pressure. Miles goes in. Back to Keane again. Over the top of Lamb. He forgets him and goes for worse foul. Out in front of Lewis. Coming to meet him is Steins. Look out. And Steins could be the victor. Oh, picks it up like it was a dry ball. And kicks to the half-forward line. Worst ball to be first to it. Claimed by Lyon, and well claimed too. Not before he got it to Mainwaring, who drifts play back into the centre, and there he finds Laurie Keane. Keane playing a great game for his side. Just misses this up a little bit. Goes after it again. Still after it, Laurie Keane. Good stuff there by the big fellow. The kick comes wide off the ground. Here's a chance now for Worsfold. Worsfold goes oh. for the left foot pass and fortunately is a On bit of a dust play. up behind play. Is it Greg Healy? Lamb on the scene. Lion on the scene. <laughs> the Lions are at the Lambs here at VFL Park. But we should have a boundary throw in. And neither umpire, neither central umpire taking much notice. Play goes on. 
Chance now for the Eagles. Gastiv can't break out of it. Throwing himself on it, Grinder. Flick out the back by Lewis, and Jackson takes it over for Melbourne. So we've got another boundary throw in, very close to the position of the previous one. Steins, who magnificent pick up and kick just a few seconds ago, doing the ruck work now. Up over the top, Dersma. Out the back, Warsfold. Just 14, 15 minutes go, to go in the second term, and the mark has been taken by Stretch at half back. It's going to be a great day, Stephen Stretch. Into the centre, Wilson. He's going to be free kick. And Melbourne certainly wants something from him. On to Johnson. Johnson to the left half forward flank. Spalding can't take it. Laidley soccer's off the ground. And a throw in to take place, taking the ball out of the hands of David Williams. Yes, John Todd's made the move of Scott off the ground with Matera coming on the ground. And Andrew Locke has gone back to his more customary role at full back. From the throw in, both Ruckman trying to flick it over the back. Healy buffered it out. Good work going at the bottom. Matera couldn't take it initially. Now a chance for Wilson onto Newport, but he's claimed and well claimed. Wilson again. Look at him burrowing in trying to get it out. The pair combined to take it down to half forward, but Dean Laidley is there to defensively mark. Plays on quickly, going on to the left foot. He just stabs it out to Miles. Has a player running if he wants him. Decides to use him too. Worst fold. Over centre wing. Over the head of Malaxos. First hurdle will be Grinter. Shepherding sees him clear. He pulls it back. Taken by Steins. He just about loses everything. Worst fold. Oh, crunch was main wearing. They pounce on him. And Peter Cameron very quickly comes in and says, I think there's someone at the bottom of that pack. It's a little crude, I thought. Lions mm. tackle on main wearing. Here it is again. In there. It was almost in the back from line. It's an interchange is made. Wenstead on and Lewis off. Matera's kick up towards half forward. No mark to Langdon. And they really have to earn it because umpire Cameron calls play on. Hand pass out the back by Malaxos. They could be rewarded here, the Eagles. Matera into an open goal and he misses. Bad miss there. Fierce looking Carl Langdon. Five points the Eagles lead by. Him in a dark lane, Danny Hughes. Some rough and tough footballers at VFL Park. Danny Hughes delects to kick straight up the ground. Langdon in the play over the top, Keen. Picking up the crumbs, Malaxos working hard at ground level. Short pass wide is effective, and the march been taken by Hart. So David Hart between the centre and centre half forward thumps a long one in towards the full forward area. No mark taken there by O'Connell. Tidied up there by Lovett. Short kick by Lovett. Just goes over the top of Lamb. At the back, Hart. Keeps his footing just. Hand pass to Matera, who slips over. Whoa, nearly head taken off there by Stretch. Matera's up to tidying and out wide. Malaxos takes the mark just wide of centre half forward. Isn't that the difference, Ian, of Matera then? Just that agility. But he slipped over in doing it, and Perth, he gets away with it. That's something he's got to try and do is keep his feet. But he butted up pretty well in the Yeah, end. very good point, uh, Malcolm. Slippery conditions at Waverley. Malaxos punting for goal from straight in front. Good kick by Malaxos. Another goal to the Eagles. Oh, the Eagles, who have had some chances this quarter, in fact, have kicked one goal too, and both of those goals were very gettable. I think they've just occasionally gone a bit wider, but they've, as we look at Malaxos here, been a very good player for the Eagles. Missed a lot of the in uh, season with a hamstring injury during the middle of the year but it's been a real acquisition back to him in this second half of the year. Malaxos first goal, the Eagles three goals, and they lead by 11 points. Nine effective scoring shots to three, and it's Main Waring who sends the Eagles into attack again. Dersma, a game attempt to mark, and he says, I'll do it on my own, and he storms through. The kick is a little wide, however. It may beat Turner over the line, or will he get there in time? He'll just get there. Jackson. Lays a late tackle, but he gets his kick down towards centre wing. O'Connell can't take the mark. And the ball goes over the line and on the foot. So stretch to bring it back into play. With a long kick towards the half forward line. Spalding does well. Good mark. Centres it, looking for Yates. Fisted clear of him. Past Keen it goes. Waiting down Malaxos. And he just pops one short in towards the centre. And the mark is taken there. So Murray Renstead gets his kick wide. Miles has got to pat it if he wants it. 
decides to straighten up. Then go as long as he can in towards half forward. Langdon at the back. Steadies. A great smother, however. We'll see him lose possession. Gastev still another chance. Tried to thread his way through and he may have lost it. What a wonderful smother. Johnson. That's the stuff that wins finals. Oh, I mean, that can change the game. Just desperation and Langdon on his left foot. He was a, if he was a right footer, probably would have got away from it. And that half a second more gave Johnson the opportunity from that left-hand side. I bet he was licking his chops. <laughs> <laughs> 24 plays, 13. Not able to pick it up. Hart chasing. Coop tries to get it out. Main Waring will thread his way through. From 50 metres, he kicks. Pulling it back towards Glendinning at behind. And one point goes on the board again. Chris Lewis, Barry Cable on the Eagles bench. Had their chances, haven't they, Ian? 3-7. That, that, that was a good kick by Main Waring, too. Yep. Around the corner from 50 metres, and he got the distance. So Hughes will kick it in. And Melbourne, they've got a few problems in towards the half-back area. Ten minutes remaining in the second term. Play on. Players have nearly stopped. Main Waring hasn't. And he kicks a magnificent pass into the centre. And pinpoints Laurie Keane just forward of the centre circle. Keane goes for the big torpedo again, up towards the front of the square, punched away, gathered by Hart, just can't get clear of the tackle. Healy, off it goes to stretch. He runs outside the 50 metre line and thumps it out wide, looking out there for Yates. He can't mark, and there's the benefit of keeping your footing. Warsfold did, gets the kick back towards half forward. Turner over the top, Malaxos very productive in the centre of the ground. Short kick out wide. Chance for Gastev. Gastev's kick up towards the 50 metre line and there's a Melbourne mark to that desperado Alan Johnson. Alan Johnson across the half back line has been tremendous. He plays on, kicks it wide towards the wing and the mark's taken by Greg Healy. Healy to put the Demons into attack. Down towards half four. The kick's going to drop short for Wilson. Solidly met by Keane. Still trying to get it out. Wilson will come away with it. To half forward. Now they've got a chance because Spalding's loose at half forward. He plays on, he gets claimed. Williams in trouble. Lately, the Eagles out of trouble. Overrun by Main Weary. At the back is Steins. A short little chip, and it's taken by Coop, who did think about going on with the job. 90% going on. Well, he is now. Tries to pull it back to centre it. No one at the back for Melbourne, however. Lamb to Malaxos. The Eagles out of trouble. May have to go as long as possible, putting it out in front of Gastev. Well, he gets away, pulls it back in towards the middle. Dersma does the spoiling work. It is effective. To half forward. Keane's waiting there. And the ball just pops on the big man's chest. Laurie Keane. Jeff Miles trying to create the space. Marks beautifully. A long sweeping hand pass. This is dangerous for Melbourne. O'Connell is on half forward. Back again to Miles. Almost inside 50. They've got the loose man. Renstead. Clear to Gastev. Over the top to Glendinning. And that will be Glendinning's first goal. Gee, what magnificent play then. Set up really by a kick into the defence of the Eagles. Set up by Keane. And Jeff Miles did all the hard running. He really did make the space on this grandstand side and with a series of hand passes really did set up the easiest to goal. Here's Miles getting it back. He again in turn over to Renstead. Renstead was clever in giving it over and Gastev did the team thing. Gave it to Ross Glendening who made no mistake for his first goal. Great play. Great play from the Eagles. So with uh, half time not very far away, the Eagles have uh, sneaked away to an 18 point lead. Here come the Demons again through Wilson. Wilson's short pass into the forward line and the mark has been taken by Williams. Never at any stage so far in this first half have Melbourne looked like getting any teamwork moving. Williams' kick is a beauty over the top. A little bit too far and it swings away at the last minute and goes over on the full. The free kick to be taken by the Eagles and it's Murray Rance in the back pocket. Big guys win finals and Laurie Keane has been tremendous so far. Rance's kick goes out towards half back. Good mark taken out there by Gary Lyon. Demons looking for players like Lyon and Steins, O'Dwyer to lift a bit. Wilson, Lyon's kick towards full forward. No mark taken. 
Spalding battling hard. Quick kick out of it by Spalding. And just goes to the wrong side of the uh, big post. Through for another behind to Melbourne. So their scoreboard looks pretty lamentable. Two goals, two in nearly half a game of football in the final. And they trail by 17 points. Kick in by Lockyer. Finds Matera in the back pocket. Matera for the Eagles. Looking to play on now. Gets around Wilson. Poor marking by the latter player. Out wide. Chance now for Lamb. The Eagles running. The ball is now at centre half forward. Nearly a mark to love it. Good tidying up work there by Johnson. He's kicked wide. Finds Lyon on centre wing. Very Lyon. Being a look up towards half forward. Steins comes out. Well in front of Lockyer. Takes it. Plays on. Gives it to Healy. In towards Williams he goes. Laidley behind him. Wilson. Tried to soccer off the ground. Laidley. Hurriedly onto the left foot. Back towards the half back line. Gary Lyon. Slews off the side of the boot, but uh, Sean White is there, and he takes the mark. So many Melbourne players have had trouble getting into the game. White's kick, taken by Miles, across to Turner. And the Eagles' defence working well, having little trouble getting it out of that attacking zone. It just wobbles over the line, and the throne will take place. 11 effective scoring shots to four. We've got just on five minutes of the second quarter remaining and Melbourne would dearly love to close the gap. Lovell can't take it. Pushed wide by Hart. Keane is caught. Turner lending support. Now Sean White. Wide. And just bounces inside for another throw. In. I suppose if there's been any criticism of Melbourne throughout the year, it's been their forward line. And getting close to half time with only two goals on the board, it, it, I just just underlies that they really haven't flowed it through it's been a bit stop startish and they really can't get that run through their forward line Healy trying to farm it out socket forward Yates a little chip goes back to Healy so he's well outside 50 still in fact goes short to start wearing the number 26 Guernsey today we've come used to seeing him in the number 11 Steins goes goalwards. Good looking kick too. Deep into oh. the square. Touch magnificently on the last line. Great defensive work. And one behind. Two goals, three. Plays four goals, seven. And that man is showing no cause for concern. Here's Lockyer. Straight down the middle, but straight to O'Dwyer. Not paid. Steins in strong with main wearing. No Dwyer tries to rip the eagle off the back. You'd have to say also, Sandy, that the, the winds had very little effect on either end. Balls equally kick being kicked the uh, same distance as both ends of the ground. Yep. There's no advantage whatsoever at the moment. Keane and Steins. Be a free kick going the way of Steins. Peter Cameron just explaining to Big Laurie Keane why. Let's have another look. Yes, yeah. And we see that, uh, that lonesome left arm. <laughs> uh, Wrapping itself around uh, Jim Stein's mouth. So Steins is too far out to score. Now what's he going to do? Go as long as he can with a top. It's a pretty good looking kick too. Into the square but straight to opposition big man Laurie Keane. Keane takes the mark in the last line of defence for the Eagles. He's played a great first half in their first effort in a final here in Melbourne. A short kick finds Lockyer done much. Lockyer's kick goes wider looking for Rance. It goes through his arms. There to help out is Main Waring. Shrugs the Steins tackle and at half back Chris Main Waring runs away. One bounce and he finds Langdon. Langdon showing Grinter a clean pair of heels. Hand pass sets Rance up. Gets past Grinter pretty easily. Murray Rance punts the Eagles into attack. Towards centre half forward. No mark taken. Demons defence under pressure. A flip out by Gastev to Malaxos. And he kicks it on forward to Glendinning, who takes the mark about 40 metres out. What an important kick this is. The Eagles really have had more of the football. It's just a matter now of getting the goals on the board and a real opportunity here for the skipper in Ross Glendinning. Glendinning punts for goal. High one. Very close. The goal umpire right behind it. And it's a goal. So Glendinning kicks his second goal and the Eagles lead by 22 points, close to half-time. 5-7 plays 2-3.
there's two goals to Rosalind Denning. It was pretty good play then. Once again, great running play as we watch Rosalind Denning here in replay. And the ball gone up by having a very good look at it, but declaring it a goal. They really have run it out of defence, the Eagles, a lot better than Melbourne. And just given those forwards a few more opportunities. So 5-7 plays 2-3. The West Coast Eagles doing it well. Steins trying to inspire his teammates. Gets it well out of the centre. Lockyer defending stoutly. Goes over the centre again. Langdon is killing Grinter from centre. Having a wrestle on in the middle of the ground. Play goes on. It's picked up by Grinter. And they're still going in the middle. We'll keep an eye on both because umpire Peter Cameron is allowing play to go on. Taken by Lamb. who will probably want to drift it into the centre. Now a chance for Lady to go long. Glenn Denning out on a long lead and he scoops it up and takes the mark. Mainwaring was one of them. Could have been uh, Newport the other. While all that was happening and with just over a minute remaining, this is critical time for Melbourne. And if the Eagles get a couple of goals here, they're in trouble. It's a long kick but he's taken it wide. No one able to mark. So a throw in in the right forward pocket for the West Coast Eagles. Steve O'Dwyer. 37 plays 15. Just under one minute remaining. Gastev! The last line of defence, Dersner. Johnson has had a great first half of football. He's tried his heart out for Melbourne. Back towards Main Waring again. <laughs> Almost taken out of it by Yates. Newport picks it up. Drifts it in towards the centre. Viney runs into trouble and he's lost the football. Lately to Malaxos who quickly kicks it forward. Down towards Matera. And he marks. The smallest man on the ground, Wally Matera, drifting it into the centre, and it's taken by Keane, who really has Ian been like a general out there. He it? certainly has controlled the game from midfield. Pulls it wide, just 20 seconds remaining. Melbourne don't want the Eagles to get another one. As I guess, ideally, they would love it. Yes, it's just been disappointing. Laurie Keane's got many, many touches. Uh, through picking up by himself. There it is. The siren has beaten them. It's half time, and at half time, the West Coast Eagles in a commanding position. Five goals, seven, 37, leading Melbourne to 3 15. Here we go. Third quarter. The winner of this game goes on. The loser, it's Curtains. Stein's up too early, so Keane just jabs it down to Worsfold. Puts it down to the half forward line. Matera is a little man, but he used the body well against Johnson. Gets clear. What's he got to kick to down in the pocket? Glenn Dinning is getting there. Can't get there on time, however, and the ball goes over the line. And a throw in 50 metres out from the West Coast Eagles scoring zone. If they got one early, that would definitely throw the cat well and truly amongst the pigeons. And Sean White now playing at full forward. A big move by Melbourne. From the throw in, Johnson continuing his fine form in the first half. Kicks wide up towards Viney. He can't take it. Mame Waring will see it over the line. Finally, well, it was very crude, and the umpire saw exactly the same because he's free kick the West Coaster to half forward. Gastev has done a lot of shoveling work today and has done it pretty well. Dersma's hand pass goes straight to Matera. He needs support. He has it in McKenna, a left footer, but straight to Healy. Gets his kick away wide, very wide, and bouncing over the line through centre wing position in bright sunshine. On that outer side, a crowd of in excess of 43,000 in attendance here at VFL Park. Steins and Keane, big West Coast Eagles followers, done it pretty well so far in the match. Warsfold does the shepherding for McKenna. Out wide, Lamb gets his kick up towards half forward, no mark. Grinter beaten by Renstead. Tap on by Rance, love it. Held when he didn't have it, and that's the way umpire Cameron sees it. A free kick to the Melbourne defender. Now, their hand passing and their short passing out of defence has been non-existent, and Lovett decides to go long to a one-on-one -on -one situation. Keane does the shepherding. Interference in that contest. Shepherding was not allowed by the central umpire, and the free kick will go to Lovell. Lovell, who spent a fair amount of the first half on the interchange bench, kicks to half forward, taken by Warsfold. Warsfold out wide, a little too far for Main Waring. Coming in to contest the possession there was Dersma, and he takes it over for a boundary throw in. 
John Denver look-alike. Uh, Chris Main wearing, playing well on the centre wing for the West Coast Eagles. Jimmy Steins again, but Keane gets in front. Main wearing throws himself on the football. In there is Coop and Keane. Being a little concerned, but the umpire will come in and ball it up. No addition to the half-time score, and a chance now for Coop. Quick kick towards half forward, and a good mark taken there. It's not paid. Play on. Kick off the ground by Wilson towards centre half forward. Goes to the back. Crude effort by Spalding in the back, and the free kick will go to centre half back Murray Rance. Rance plays on quickly. Out wide. Worsfold, and Jackson a little too late on the scene. Worsfold short kick. Mark taken by Renstead. So the Eagles sharing it around quite nicely at the start of the third quarter. Murray Renstead. Just on the defensive side of centre wing. To send the Eagles into attack. A good looking kick too. Grinter in from the side. Fisting clear. Waiting down Viney. Loses it. Then applies the tackle however. Peter Cameron allowing play to go on. Gastev threads his way out of it. Then gets a hurried left foot kick down towards the 50 metre line. Will not be kept in play. There'll be no desire to keep it in play by Alan Johnson and over the line. Yes, Melbourne have made a move. They've put Stephen Stretch onto Langdon. Obviously, they had high risk guard for Langdon's first half, but they really have taken an attack attacking wingman away and put him on a half back flank. I know it's very similar. Just an interesting move by Melbourne. Hughes over the top, past Renstead towards Wilson, and again over the line as Hughes almost collided with Gastev. Big Danny Hughes. That's the job Melbourne has in front of them. 22 points is the margin. And so far in this quarter, they've been able to make no impression. Love it. Gathers no distance. Worsfold stopped it. On the ground again. Battling was Healy. Socket off the ground. Inside 50 now. Johnson again sees it over the line. So another throw in. Certainly hasn't been a pretty start, but it's been very tight. Kicks are hard to get at the moment. Very, very tough. Langdon loses it. A chance now for Melbourne to clear. Through Healy, across to Hughes. Gets his kick just in time. It'll be effective. He finds Coop at half-back. Doug Coop now to send Melbourne into attack. Up towards centre-half forward. Reading it well, Turner can still get the hand pass away to Malaxos in the centre. Another short kick finds Warsfold. So Warsfold plays on. Kicks it out wide and the mark's been taken by Renstead. He plays on quickly. In towards the forward pocket. It's a little too far for Glendenning. Poor kick there by Murray Renstead. A fairly good build-up across half-back. And it's wasted in the forward pocket for the Eagles. They still lead by 22 points. Scores haven't altered since the half-time break. Right on the 50-metre line, we've got a boundary throw in. Dersman does the ruck work. Gastev takes it out. Matera fumbles at a crucial stage. Out the back. Chance for Hart. Hart's left foot kick is not bad to the front of the square. Marking contest. Hughes and Glendinning. Hughes re recovers. Gets the tap out wide to Johnson. Off the ground it goes over for a boundary throw in. And the play is about 45 metres around from the Eagles goal. I feel Malcolm, the Demons just aren't prepared to take enough risks. No, they've certainly uh, been very stop-start for most of the game. And they've started out this way again. Stretch trying to flick it over the top. Lovell gets a hurried kick. Johnson the run of it, Yates, and the free kick will go the way of the Melbourne player. So one gets a feeling that the umpire is a bit desperate there to straighten up play a bit. Yates from half back, towards the centre. First to clear, Enstead is waiting down, 75 metres out, short for Glendinning. Stretches at the back, urged to go on with it. In fact, no one chases, so he does. And then kicks long, up towards the centre. Socket off the ground by Wilson. Passes worse fall. Laidley, under pressure. Does well, trying to scoop it oh. out. Oh! Out comes White. Kicks wide. And it goes out of bounds. And every time I see that, Malcolm, I think one day someone is going to get very badly hurt. Yeah, too, the courage of John Worsfold could never ever be questioned. He started the quarter off magnificently. He's had a lot of possessions and he really is such a good young player. Steins in front. Keane up over the top. Gets the thump out wide. Lyon gathers. 
good ball handling. Left foot kick is not bad. And Sean White has taken the mark about 25 metres, maybe a little bit further, and on a very slight angle. Vine did very well here. Terrific skills around his body. And Sean White accepted that gleefully. And the move up full forward, he's already had one shot at goal. Can this be the second one? And most importantly, a goal for Melbourne. So White comes in and punts for goal and puts it through. Melbourne kicked the first goal of the third quarter, much to the delight of their fans who have been extremely quiet so far in the match. And the difference now is 16 points. 37 plays, 21. Here it is. What actually happened here was that Keane was really on White. White went up for the ruck work. And Lockyer back in the goal square really couldn't control that. Laurie Keane really was on Sean White then. And that quick kick, great goal to Melbourne. So the Melbourne fans have something to roar about. They've still got a long way to go. Back in the middle. Sean White kicking his first. And the gap is closing. 16 points is the margin. Lovell's kick partly smothered. Important to see who wins it out of the middle this time. Keane soccers off the ground towards Langdon. He taps wide, but straight to Yates. His kick is smothered. It is tough to get a kick out there at the moment. Stretch. Claim. Grinter. Also caught. Worst foul and Langdon. Worst foul. Line over the top of him. Play allowed to go on. Spalding to Wilson. Can he fire up? Wilson is clear. To the half forward line. The diving mark is it going to be paid to Williams. Where have all these more Melbourne supporters been earlier in the game? I think they sense a resurgence here. Yeah. Didn't have much to cheer about <laughs> the first half, did they? Two goals, three. David Williams coming in for only his second kick. Goes long into the square. It's a mark to Sean White. Well, the Demons have done it before and it's worked by moving this man to full forward. Could it happen again? Yes, they really have struggled, as we mentioned in that second quarter. As we're going to watch this in replay again, and it was an excellent mark there from Sean White. Just that bit of extra spring across the front of that pack. And once again, another important kick from this very talented player. She's an effervescent type. Former champion Robbie Flower keeping a close eye on this football. He boots for goal and he puts it through. The Demons are back in town. Second goal to Sean White in, uh, in just a few minutes. And they really have struggled up forward. And we've mentioned it, they haven't kicked a lot of goals this year. But Sean White on the occasions as he has gone up forward has really given them something to kick to. And the kick from Williams as we watch again and that excellent mark. And then more importantly than all that, of course, is the pressure on the scoreboard the last two goals to Melbourne and this is the real pressure time now for the Eagles so two magnificent kicks by Sean White and all of a sudden it's 10 points the difference Turner's caught with the football Melbourne will get clear again Viney wide Jackson over the top Coop running long kick to the front of the goal square White and Lockyer Lockyer punches away to the uh, boundary line in the left back pocket and we'll have a throw in now the demon fans are on their toes because they can sense some sort of a revival 37 plays 27 with the half of the third quarter already gone the ball deep in the forward pocket for the demons keen over the top down in front to mckenna good interception by jackson he's at the bottom of the pack and the umpire will come in and ball it up so a little bit of sparkle from ricky jackson could set this game alight the wind is not really favouring either end at VFL Park. Sean White does the ruck work. He's crashed to the ground by Keane. And players allowed to go on. Thumped over the line by the Eagles' defence. Sean White, two goals. Brings the Demons to within striking distance. 14 and a half minutes remaining. In this all-important third quarter, Lockyer stood his ground but lost the football. Matera. Close to the boundary line. Gets his kick down towards Main Waring. With him his worst foul. Over the line. And worst foul. Fine young player. And so a throw in on the outer side. 
with Melbourne trying desperately to get back into the game. They've got time, they've got plenty of time. The question is, are they good enough? There's another free kick going their way. It'll be taken by Grinter. He's at centre wing. Going long. In towards Williams. Can't mark on the 50 metre line. Recovers well, however. Still battling for it. Now Worsfold comes away. Puts out the sweeping hand pass to Main Waring. And again, the Eagles are out of trouble. Main Waring ball to ground twice. Thought about a third. His kick is not a good one. Glendinning can't trap it. Or it came off the boot of Johnson and went further into his defensive zone. Johnson trying desperately now to make amends. He gets it out. Hughes dropped it at the critical stage. It's thumped wide. Matera will be first to it. Hurriedly onto the left foot, but a great smother. Matera might have another go. Great courage shown by Steins. Just forgot about his body and ran for the football on that occasion. Lamb pulls it back for Renstead. He can't take it. Goes to ground. Hughes is with him. Langdon waiting down. Onto the left foot. Johnson. Oh, got a favourable bounce. It was a half volley as he booted it back, but straight to Lamb again. Lamb in towards Glendinning. The bounce is not a good one. And there's news, bad news too behind play because Stephen Stretch is in the hands of the trainers. Looks as though from that smother he may have been hit in the face. Well, perhaps he could have a chat with Jamie Dersma because they don't hurt Jamie Dersma. Wilson gets the hand pass away to Cook. Over the head of Jackson it goes. Wide and McKenna takes a good mark. So Guy McKenna's on centre wing. Yeah, he was a little lucky, I thought he looked to run on there, but he's allowed to take his kick. Kicks it back towards the Melbourne goal. Worst fold has made good position. Kick into the centre, and the mark's been taken by Matera. So Matera, just slightly forward of centre. High ball towards full forward. Glendening does the shepherding, but at the back is Lovett and he takes the mark. This is a little bit better. They sweep wide now, where they've got a two-on-one. Wilson leading, half. Wilson gathers, and he handballs back to his player in support, Yates. Over the top, level back. Wilson's there. Now they're building up the demon. Poor kick by Wilson. Shocker. And down he went after he kicked the football, so the demon's a little fortunate. The free kick will go to Yates. Look at this in replay there. It was really uh, a pretty good side on attack at the... the to play with the ball. Wilson made it a little, look a little bit worse than it was. Up to half forward, Keane. Long handball. Malaxos in the centre. Now it comes back with rebound. Malaxos up towards centre half forward. A oh, great play. Magnificent Glendening. Oh. Onto O'Connell. Into an open goal. And the Eagles miss. Oh, what a shocker from a magnificent piece of football. So that is a crucial miss, that uh... Mate Mary missed one earlier in the second quarter, and, and that one, they really could have been further in front. Yes, back to uh, 11 points, 38 to 27. Kick in by Hughes, finds Johnson at half-back. Johnson, putting Melbourne further out of the danger zone to Doug Coop. On to Lovett. Melbourne is starting to show glimpses. Lovett, over the centre. Worst fold, chance his arm. Well, just about beat everyone. Almost bowled the lot. Play from Lovell. On to Spalding. Time to steady. Go on to the left foot. Long in towards full forward. Laidley with the fist. Gets it across to McKenna. His hand pass is dangerous. It's sunk it off the ground. It's a goal. Is that Ricky Jackson at the bottom? Oh, you talk about lucky football. And have you ever seen a more costly a slip? As we look at what happens here, the ball comes in that goes over the back. McKenna does pretty well. Worsfold, unfortunately, back behind him. And then Jackson with a kick off the ground. Goal to Melbourne. So three goals to Melbourne. The West Coast Eagles have not scored a goal in this quarter. And suddenly they are right back in this game. The margin is just five points. It's favouring the West Coast Eagles as Main Waring wins it out of the middle with a free kick to worse bowl. The Eagles need a steadier. Glenn Dinning, bowl. Hughes, clear. Over centre wing, a lovely kick he finds Lyon. Lyon on centre wing, looking for someone loose up forward. No one there, so he goes with a big bomb, a torpedo. 
puts the Eagles' defence under pressure, but they're up to it because Rance has taken the football at half-back, kicks it up towards the wing. No one there to really make an attempt at marking. Viney gets the ball clear. Now there's a chance for Greg Healy. Left foot kick up towards the 50-metre line. No mark taken. It's a spirited game now. McKenna takes it away. Off to Turner. Turner at half-back. Kicks it high towards the wing. Dersma. Good mark by Dersma. As there are two players in the arms of the trainers. One eagle, one demon. Stretch. Takes the hand pass. Kicks it up towards half-forward. Here's a chance for Melbourne. Swooping on it, Wilson. He's got the ball at the back. Handballs it wide. Now there's a chance for Lovell. 15 metres out, directly in front, puts it through, and the Demons are in front. Great play by Sean White to oh, tap it out. Fantastic. And really what you've got to do is go, go back to that uh, David O'Connell missed by the Eagles, and there was a slip over in the goal square after a poor handball, and all of a sudden the game has changed. I mean, Melbourne is starting to run, and the Eagles, nothing's going right for them. Wilson almost here. Still did it pretty well to get the ball out, and Sean White terrific play and Lovell with pretty good skills on his left side great goal. suddenly a few risks starting to go their way taking risks and they're paying off will it continue from the middle Langdon the left footer the Eagles trail for the first time in the game great mark taken by Johnson well he has been sensational today to Steins can run on Pulls it back, looking for Spalding and finds it. Gee, it was a good mark by Steins out there. Spalding long towards Sean White. One, two grabs. All comes to ground. Farmed out. Is it going to be another one? It is. Jackson has done it again. Well, five goals in the quarter, and they've kicked two in the first half. And really, those five goals have probably come within 15 minutes. It's been a remarkable play. And as you mentioned, Ian, all of a sudden there's a few risks being taken. I mean, that was a half handball, then a tap, and a very scrappy-looking kick. But my word, wasn't it effective? Tremendous play by Jackson. Two goals for him personally. And all of a sudden, the Demons are in front. There's a free kick being paid at the centre bounce. And it'll be taken by the Eagles' Laurie Keane. Kick towards half forwards in short. Langdon tries a kick off the ground. He goes after it. Hughes's kick off the ground has been stopped. It's still at half forward for the Eagles. Johnson out wide to stretch. Oh, he puts Lovett under enormous pressure. Lovett's looping handball. Steins in the centre. He's lifted his game. And Steins runs through the centre and kicks it towards centre half forward. Marking contest up there. But it's one-sided because Murray Rance takes the grab. At centre-half back, he gets it off to McKenna. McKenna in short. It's over the top. Hand pass by Jackson wide to Lyon. Lyon's got Wilson running towards goal. But there's two eagles there in between him and the goals. One of them, Murray Rance. Kick wide to the wing. Main wearing. Traps it nicely. Goes after it again. Rance is there. Down he goes from a coop tackle. And the free kick has been paid to the West Coast Eagles centre-half back, Murray Rance. Well, the Eagles will have to lift now. Poor kick. In short, Rinstead dives on it. So does Lyon. Rinstead's got the football. He can't break clear. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. On centre wing. And what a change in the game. After trailing by 22 points at half time, the Demons now lead by seven. Rinstead's kick is high. Trying to get underneath it was worse fall, but a courageous, strong mark taken by Brian Wilson. Had a quiet first half. But he's playing up the ground now too, Sandy. More often what he was in the first half. And looks, all of a sudden, looks a lot better player. And this man has looked good all day. Alan Johnson. First final. To half forward. And a great mark taken by Spalding. Plays on. Trying to make it a one-out contest down at full forward. White couldn't take it. Lockyer can. And the Eagles out of trouble. Lockyer's kick to worse fold. Goes wide at Agastev. He hasn't been sighted hardly this quarter. Short Matera. Danny Hughes, a kick towards the boundary line. O'Connell couldn't take it. Grinter, there's desperation there now. Grinter's thumping hand pass, finds Dersma. Gain 35 metres. In towards centre wing, Lovell. Still going. Gets it out to Jackson. Towards Lyon. Can't quite trap it on the half volley. Recovers well. On to Wilson. 
He's going to be in trouble. Gets it out miraculously to Spalding. Almost gets clear. Out comes the hand pass to Coop. He's inside 50. He's clear. He goes onto the left foot, but he sprays it right across the face of goal and just sneaks it in for one behind. Pretty good gather by Gary Lyon on the half volley. You named that he couldn't quite get it, but uh, it was a great effort. The Eagles players on the ball have really dropped out the game. Only worse fault is, is the player touching the ball in and around the packs. The margin is eight points as Lockyer brings it back into play. McKenna at half back with just five minutes remaining in the third term. Kicks it wide to Renstead. The bounces favour, favours him. Back onto the right foot. Elects to go for the hand pass. Puts Langdon under enormous pressure. Stretches warning closely in this third term. Renstead again over the top to Malaxos. Quick kick by Malaxos up to the forward pocket. At the back, Scott. Grinter in front. Does the tackling. Scott gets it out somehow to Glenn Denning. Snapshot by Glenn Denning is hooked too far and through for another behind. So 5-9 plays 7-4. And the Demons... After kicking five goals, one in perhaps the last 15 or 20 minutes of this quarter. A lead by seven points. Kick in by Hughes. No mark taken. Steins. Chance for Healy. Gets the hand pass out the back to Coop. Coop over the top into the centre. Wilson running nicely off half back now is Lovett. Lovett's kicked towards half forward. Now the pace of Ricky Jackson will be tested. He taps it along in front of him. Good tackle by Turner. No free kick paid, it's out on the full, and the Demons appealing for the free kick. It'll go to them at half forward to be taken by Sean White. He's too far out to score, 60 to 65 metres from goal. He punts up towards the forward pocket. Oh, the ball dropped short and Spalding's taking the mark. Basically, the game's just turned around completely. The, you know, the luck that uh, perhaps you need in football, the poor kick and... Sporting just puts up one hand and says, thank you very much, I'll take this one. And the luck really has started to turn. Earl Spaulding kicked one goal in the second quarter. And has the chance now to give Melbourne a 13-point lead. What an amazing turnaround it would be. Very deliberate in his approach. I think he may have pushed it too far, he has. One behind only. So, 5-9, plays 7-5. One goal, one to Earl Spalding. And just over three minutes, Ian, remaining in this all-important third quarter. Good kick in by Lockyer, finds Warsfold. Half-back flank. Very impressive statistics. Kicks it wide towards the wing. Goes to the back. Renstead can't gather. Does... Uh, Melbourne from the centre wing, Healy over the top. Chance there for Coop, but he can't gather and will have another boundary throw in. So the conditions have improved as the day has gone on and we've had about 25 or 30 minutes now without any rain at all. Steins and Keane, oh Keane crashed to the ground. Steins goes down and another free kick to the Melbourne Ruckman. He's playing him a lot tighter too giving in the room that they had in the second quarter. Once again, those arms of Laurie Keynes flailing around paid the penalty. Steins up towards half forward. Good mark taken by Laidley. Laidley at half back. Kicks it into the centre. Johnson in good position. Up over the top of Scott. Kick off the ground by Dersma. Yates leading. Kicks it off the ground again. It bounces just inside the line and we'll have another boundary throw in. So the players at half forward for the Demons with two minutes remaining in the third term. They probably need another goal. It would give them a nice little cushion to go into the last term. Leading by eight points. Comes to the back. Great pick up by Matera. Matera into the centre. Nearly a mark to love it. He's up to the recovery brilliantly. Wilson tried to get it to Johnson. Matera and Rance. Johnson at the back somehow oh. finds his way through. Outside 50. Goes long. Will this roll through? It's a goal! Huh. Magnificent shot by Alan Johnson. And the Demons lead by 14 points with just one and a half minutes left in the third term. There was probably no more disappointed man last year when Melbourne made their surge at the flag than Alan Johnson, who was out injured. And in his first finals in VFL football, has performed magnificently. And really, you'll remember this moment forever. 
55 metres, almost a standing start. And that has cleared the line. What a magnificent kick. The Demons running hot at the moment. 8-5, plays 5-9. Steins tries to get it out of the middle. And with just over a minute and a half remaining, the West Coast Eagles would not only love to score themselves, but at the same time, they've got to stop the Melbourne run. What a quarter it's been. They've added six goals, Melbourne. Six goals, three to be exact. From the middle, the second attempt, it's Lovett to Dersma, who goes long to the half forward line, but Guy McKenna is there to take the mark. Wide to Malaxos, under 50 seconds remaining. Great smother. Some tremendous play by Melbourne in this quarter. There he is again. Look at the workhorse. Alan Johnson, best on ground at the moment. Into 50 again. Tap clear. This is the danger time. Lyon. Is time going to beat the Demons? Grant's a crude tackle. And Williams is in a lot of pain. We look, watch this in replay here. Williams ducked his head and... Uh... It's, uh, it it's a nasty be, way to get it. Could be a neck or a spine there. Yeah, although he's moving around, I think he's OK. He's just... Well, he's just knocked the wind out of yes. it. Yes. wasn't a lot Murray Rance could do there. He just turned his body. Just one of those unfortunate clashes that occasionally happens in this game. Well, there's 22 seconds left. And it's, uh, we hear the whistle for a play to resume. David Williams saying, I seem to cut one on the head. No, not too well. Just again, I mean, look at Murray Rance. It's really the fact that it was just an awkward spot, wasn't it? The ball was on the ground as David Williams bent over. Murray Rance was committed to try and stop him. Very unfortunate. So the kick is going to be taken by Lyon. Let's see what Gary Lyon can do from 50 metres. It may just about be the last kick of the quarter unless there's a mark. There isn't. At the back is Jackson. Gets the hand pass out. Healy may have to try and soccer off the ground. It's spooned clear. Yates over the line. And there it is. The siren to end the third quarter. A big quarter for Melbourne as they've not only clawed their way back into the game, they've taken the advantage. At three-quarter time, Melbourne leads. Eight goals, five. 53 for the West Coast Eagles. Five goals, nine. 39 been cleared. I'm just wondering if that breeze has come up at all. It may have a fraction. The final quarter. The loser of this game is out. Their season is finished. Worst fall. The tireless worker. One of the few in the third quarter. Kick comes off the side of the boot. It may still work for them. Second grab by Scott. Unable to take it. Grinder goes wide towards the boundary line. Stretch. Does well from half back. He rebounds back towards the centre wing area. If Melbourne get the first goal. It's going to make it very tough for the Eagles. Malaxos high to inside 50, but Danny Hughes comes out to take the timely mark. Good mark there by Hughes, who come down from full back. He's on the 50 metre line and he thumps it out wide. Langdon in front. Oh, good mark nearly by Steins. Lovell. Perhaps could have been a fraction more desperate, but Langdon on the bottom of the pack keeps the ball in for the Eagles. Very important five minutes as Matera and Renstead look on. Concerned. Steins can't break out. Now a kick off the ground comes out wide. Good play by Main Waring. Can he gather the football? Yes, it's a new ball. And he kicks it around the corner inside 50. A mark to the Eagles could be vital. Grinter there. Healy. Over the top now, Demons running well out of defence. Johnson, probably the first bounce of the ball for the afternoon, and his kick is equally as effective, and it finds Coop on centre wing. He could have been deemed to have played on. Kick around the corner towards half forward is a little bit too far, a little bit too wide for Viney, and the free kick will be taken by the Eagles at half back by McKenna. McKenna into the centre, and Malaxos takes the mark in front of Healy. So the Eagles have gained about 25 metres with that McKenna kick. Malaxos now kicks it towards centre-half forward. Dersma comes to the back. Stretch played a good game. Gastev, good tackle. Love it there to help stretch out. Good tackle by Hart. Lewis swoops on the football. And a 
free kick has been given to the Melbourne player in Lovett. Couldn't pick that out, but play on now. Lovett goes straight across the ground. A long ball. Looks for Johnson. Dives on it. Misses. Flips it out to Yates. It's great play by Johnson. And Yates gets the Demons out of trouble. Up towards half forward. Rance has read it well. At half back, Murray Rance puts the Eagles back oh. in towards the centre. But the mark's been taken by Lovell in front of Keane. Andy Lovell. Right in the centre. To half forward. Williams still perhaps a little tentative after that heavy knock. Oh, Lamb got one then too. Laidley now under pressure from Healy. Healy trying to farm it wider. It does so to Williams. He's got a back pedal. He's too slow. He's still going though. He shoots towards goal, but he's travelled to it. Sandy, just looking at this, David Williams really can't understand it. It was a great kick. Perhaps at centre half forward, O'Connell's let that, you know, has been beaten there. I wonder if Glenn Denning goes to centre half forward or even Rance. Just change it round up forward in those key central positions. Lamb plays on. Going in towards the centre of the ground. Worst foul. White for Langdon on his chest. Carl Langdon spears one in towards full four. Danny Hughes playing in front. Playing well. Melbourne at the moment holding out the West Coast Eagles. In a low scoring elimination final. Big mark by Jim Steins. There's only 14 points in it. Steins a little chip to stretch. Wider to Lovell. They're into attack. Over 50. Williams again the target. McKenna in front. Takes the mark. Plays on across to Lockyer. Will come wider to Malaxos. Goes back in towards the centre. Gastev has got to stand his ground. Does it well. Lyon scouts the pack. Flicks it over the head of Wilson. Now a chance for Mainwaring. Pulling it back into Lewis. He's had a pretty dismal day. Chris Lewis spending a lot of time on the boundary line. Glenn Denny. Inside 50. Well, he'll kick from just on 50 metres. And they certainly need this one. Yes, it's a pretty good kick for Lewis under pressure. Well, if ever the Ross needed to kick a goal, it's now. He's kicked two goals. The kick is on its way. Goes into the square and drifts across the face for one ball. 13 points is the mark. So with 20 minutes remaining in the match, the loser out of the 1988 finals race. Melbourne come clear a little too easily for John Todd's sake, I would have thought, because Coop's got the ball now on centre wing. Coop's kick covers 50 metres towards half forward. It's a struggle for possession. McKenna gets the hand pass out to Malaxos. He's a little slow. Crude tackle by Spalding. Lovell, good play, worse fold. Goes after it again himself, but Lewis chips in. Round onto the right foot, Lewis. Kicks it high. Towards centre half forward. Dersma can't mark. Backed up well by Grinter. Grinter out wide has Lovett. Little bit of time to settle. Kick the ball into the forward line. Williams and Laidley. Williams trying to finesse around Laidley. Close to the line. Gets the handball away. Healy's run up. So is Sean White from full forward. Out the back. Love it. Up towards the 50 metre line. He's caught with the football. He just gets his kick away. In front of Spalding. He can't get his kick away. Rance. All players very tired. McKenna. Miles. Held when he didn't have it. Play on, says the umpire. Out wide. Turner. Turner struggling for possession in the back pocket. And it's just inside 50 metres in the Demons forward area. Chance for Wilson. Little bit of skill, gets the ball back to Coop. Coop's kick is a shocker off the side of the boot, out of bounds on the full. Todd Viney on the interchange bench for the Demons, and Malaxos will kick the ball in for the Eagles. From the back pocket. Towards Keane and Steins. And this time the free kick goes the way of Keane, and Big Jim Steins is not impressed. Fires a torpedo. Over centre wing, Langdon. With him is Stretch. Stretch does well. Hart. Support from O'Connell. A quick kick to Glenn Dinning. Well outside 50. Good pass, however. 
Lockyer marks directly in front. I think you've got to go back to the start of the game when Lockyer and Glenn Denning were both up there. It, it looked to appear to work. It appeared to have worked pretty well. And so Andrew Lockyer for his second goal. He shoots, city goals, and the Eagles stay in the fight. Yes, move from full back now up in the forward line, just to take that bit of pressure I'd suggest off of uh, Ross Glendening. Phil Scott now playing in defence as he did earlier in the game. And that's the that's the opportunity that the Eagles have missed, I think. It's been very static up forward. Most kicks are directed at Glendening and not very well at that. So an important first goal going to Eagles in this last quarter. Their first since the second quarter. The seven points is the margin in Melbourne's favour. And the flag's flying a fairly limp at the moment, so the Demons pressure's on. 17 and three quarter minutes remaining in the game. Supporters very, very quiet. Sheen bounces in the centre. Steins and Keane. Lamb will get a kick off the ground. At least it gets it out towards the Eagles forward line. Gastev into the pocket. Glenn Denning takes the mark in front of Hughes. And the Eagles are not done with yet. Glenn Denning who's kicked two goals. A chance to kick his third. He's about 40 metres out. On a difficult angle. Glenn Denning punch for goal. Big drop punt is home. So, one point the difference as Glenn Denning has kicked his third. And hasn't it been a great battle between him and Hughes? I suppose when I mean, you look at the, the game overall, three goals in this low-scoring game is a pretty good contribution. On the other hand, the man-to-man -man stuff, Denning Hughes has done very well at all, at, at, as well. So, it really has been a pretty good contest and not really much Denning Hughes could do to stop that great kick in to Ross Glenn Denning. So, the match is really down to the wire now. Melbourne by a point. Steins and Keane again. They've contested quite a lot of the centre knockouts. Spalding, high left foot kick off the side of his boot. Goes wide and the mark's taken by Gastev. Gastev quite in the middle part of the game. He's coming to it now. Long kick towards half forward. And the mark's been taken by Lovett over Lewis. Lovett quickly has a player loose. Healy, tap away by Lamb. And it goes over the line for a boundary throw. -in. Melbourne by one point. 43,438 fans at VFL Park. From the throw in, right on centre wing. Keen at the bottom to Malaxos. The Eagles into attack again. Down towards half court. Oh, great use of the body, Glenn Denning. Well, we know Malcolm, that's what he can do, and he did it beautifully. Yes, it's tried it a few times the ball hasn't really come his way it's, it's probably been set up a little bit just for Hughes but that was a great one where he used his body and on the second bobble caught it well let's see if he can give the Eagles the lead he shoots he goals the Eagles are back in front four goals to Ross Glendinning and that puts the Eagles five points in front an equal power and here's Danny uh -huh. Hughes and Ross Denning and everyone's pretty impressed. They've played pretty close all day. <laughs> and Ross really is not wasting a lot of breath with all that. He's a terrific goal. Look at the stats. Danny Hughes and Ross Denning. Ross not offering Danny Hughes a drink. I've got four goals. And that's all that matters. Centre bounce. Can Melbourne now come back? Malaxos out of the middle. Putting it out in front of Langdon. Hart was there also. No one able to pick it up cleanly. The pressure really on. Malaxos again. Has it well spoiled out of his arms. Lyon tapped it on. Miles gets a quick kick, but it goes straight to Coop. Coop sending Melbourne deep into their attacking zone. Williams not trying to mark, trying to push it down in front. McKenna copped a few. Oh, that's rubbish. That was a really good, solid contest. The football was there. Yep. But it was just in a very unfortunate position. Oh, gee. Yes, it's, a, it's in fact, Miles actually really did not yeah. um, Earl Sporting into young McKenna. That's, a, that's another nasty one around the around the head so we watch this again and 
Yes. It's another one of those unfortunate ones, very similar to David Williams. And the stretch of being rushed out, whether it will be required remains to be seen, but uh, he perhaps looks to be in, in a little more bother than Williams now. Danny Hughes and Ross Glendinning are still having in-depth discussions at the other end of the ground. I would probably say, uh, say let's have a bit of a round or two for a pound or two. <laughs> Mate, the margin is five points at the moment. And it's favouring the West Coast Eagles who surrendered the lead in the third quarter. But with goals in the final quarter from Glenn Dinning and Lockyer, they yeah, are back guy, in the uh, hunt. It really was an awkward one on, uh, on the Kenner. And one of the pleasing things about this is the way the uh, the trainers are, are so well trained at this now and uh, you're getting players on the stretches and, you know, no one touched the young fella and, and that's the way it's got to be these days. What effect, Malcolm, does a stoppage like this have on the other players out on the ground? Well, I think that what you do, I mean, it's one of your teammates are down and it was very, very accidental, the whole lot of it. So the unfortunate part from the Eagles' point of view was that they were the side that had the momentum. You know, they'd kicked the last couple of goals. They had come from behind. Let's just hope that uh, young guy McKenna is okay. And as I say, you know, full full marks to the trainers in the way they did that, and all the players around it really did stop and wait for the right attention for the young fellow. It's very disappointing for him because uh, well, he's been one of the shining lights, particularly of the young brigade, to come through the West Coast Eagles ranks this year. Yes, he has indeed. And he's conscious, so that's one good sign. But obviously, they're concerned about his uh, having the upper part of his body there. Well, Wally Matera will be coming on the ground to take his place. So, you can say the Eagles are down to 19 men. They lead by five points. We've had uh, considerable time on, and uh, Wilson's having a bit of a Barney behind play. With him is worse fall. Well, the pressure, the tension, it's mounting all the time. They all know that the season's going to end for one of these sides. Miles takes the kick from half-back towards centre wing. Melbourne need a goal and need it badly. Jackson over the top, almost thrown out to Hart. In fact, it was set up by Peter Cameron. So the Demons to go forward again as McKenna is taken straight down to the rooms. The kick is long, right up a fraction early. Lyon was there, trying to push it wide. Laidley will go towards the boundary line. Can he keep it in play? He hooks it over his shoulder. Clever kick, but no one there. And once again, the mark is taken by Melbourne skipper Healy. Healy in short, and the mark's been taken by Newport. Perhaps a little too far out to score. He's got a kick from 55 metres, 14 minutes. Just over 14 minutes remaining in the match. Newport's kicked to the front of the square, comes to the back, taken through from behind by Lewis. Now, I don't know whether he should do that in a close match. They're only leading by five. They now lead by four points. And that could be vital. Yes, it was an interesting play then, Chris Lewis. He's usually pretty well aware of what's going around him. I, I think he's just misjudged that. He didn't realise he had that much time to do something with the football. So Scott will kick the football in for the Eagles. Goes in short. Mark taken mm -hmm. by Main Waring. He took his eye off it a few seconds before he had it. Nearly flummed it. Out wide to half back. Good punch away. First to recover Coop. He can't do much with it and we'll have another boundary throw in. It's on half forward flank for Melbourne. They trail by four points. We've got 13 minutes and 40 seconds left in the match. Steins and Keane. Great contest all day. Malaxos somehow gets his kick away towards half forward the mark's been taken by Lovett. Plays on gets around Matera tumbling a punt over the centre waiting down in front Renstead wider to Malaxos goes in towards the middle now will steady and spear one into half forward and to see stretch in front of Langdon and would he have not have been wiser to go as long as he possibly could have on that occasion well, well I suppose to, or just a shade better school level stretch Short, that one also dropping onto the chest of Steve Malaxis. Certainly picked up plenty of touches today. 30 to be precise. On half forward, Love it. Receives the hand pass, then sweeps one wide towards Healy. He does have help in the form of Johnson. Goes short to Coop on half back. So Doug Coop plays on, goes over the top. 
Hilly again, now towards the centre wing area, Spalding takes the mark. Earl Spalding, wobbling one, and pressured over the line on the floor. Yeah, it was terrific pressure then from Murray Rance, who just committed himself at the kick and just put in enough pressure on Spalding to make him kick it out of bounds. Terrific stuff from Murray Rance. And it will be Rance who will take the kick from the half-back line. He goes long. Plenty of flyers, but no one can take it. Lovett is at the back again, outwitting Matera. Straight to Healy. Great kick. So Greg Healy is at centre wing. He's going to put the Demons into attack. There's just under 12 minutes left, but that's plenty of time when you consider that Melbourne kicked six goals in 19 minutes in the third quarter. Worsfold gives it to Mainwaring. Back to Keane. Keane steadies, then goes with a long high left footer down towards the 50 metre line. Coming to meet it was Lockyer. Couldn't take the mark, but plays on well. Spears one in short. He was looking for Matera. At the back is Glenn Dinning. The meat in the sandwich. Matera on to Renstead. Back to Glenn Dinning. This could be another one. He shoots at goal. He puts it through. Three goals in the last quarter for Ross Glenn Dinning. And really, having the Eagles, you can't be, but be impressed by that Melbourne onslaught in the third quarter. As we see the build-up, Lockyer did very well. The kick went between, really, Glendenning and Matera. The quick handball came out from Matera over to Renstead. And Ross Glendenning, five goals. A pretty good effort for an afternoon's work. And you can't help but be impressed with the Eagles' comeback. So, back in the centre, the Eagles lead by ten points. There's still 11 minutes left in the game. And no one can break clear from that centre bounce. I just thought one particular decision was crucial in that build-up. The mark the Steins and the Melbourne supporters screamed when it wasn't allowed. They haven't played them all day here too. So in the centre, umpire Cameron bounces again. Keane gets it down to Renstead. A little too bit high. too high there, the tackle by Yates and Renstead, who's been quite productive since he came off the interchange bench. Hasn't had many kicks, but his hand passes have been pretty good. Renstead kicks it up towards the full forward area. Punched away from Lockyer by Grinter. Nearly an interception there by Miles. Now there's a chance for Hughes. Coop. Oh, good tackle. Langdon. Coop again goes after it. Gets the hand pass out. Grinter. Maybe advantage paid. Yes. Grinter up towards the wing. Mark to Spalding. Demon's not done with yet. Spalding looking to play on. Lewis tackling or mining the mark. Spalding's left foot kicked towards centre half forward. Right at the back. Takes the mark. He's at centre half forward, too far out to score. This sparked the muck like it did in the third quarter. A white, white mark. Newport off, Viney on, short pass. And the mark has been taken by Williams, about 35 metres out directly in front. And it does give the forwards confidence, your teammates up the ground, when someone does take a mark, as Sean White distributes the ball very well to Williams. And I suppose if you're going to back someone from this distance, it'd be David Williams. Pretty good kick for goal, usually. Shouldn't have trouble with the distance. Shoots for goal. The wind brings it back. It's through. Four points of difference. The first goal to David Williams, number 15 for Melbourne. And really the first half that, I suppose, produced a lot of tough football. But this second half has produced the goals and some very, very skilled play. Their first goal for the quarter, Malcolm. Yes, it has. It is, Sandy. As we watch from behind the goal, and we we'll see the ball just come back nicely there. Just a bit of drift. And really the goal the Melbourne side wanted. It is certainly on in this elimination final. Nine and a half minutes remaining. From the middle, who can win it out? Langdon goes to ground. Coops burrowing in there. Can't get it to you. And so he'll have another bounce. And can you believe that your whole season work now relies on this last nine minutes of football? That's what it's come down to for these two sides. Just one kick in it. Steins, but well smothered by Keane. Lovett still gets a kick wide. The race is on. Rance does it well. Spearing a hand pass back towards Mainwaring. The idea was right to get it onto Matera, but Coop intercepted. Down towards Wilson. Steadies. Pushes one in towards full forward. Scott is there. Goes for the hand pass, but it goes straight to Jackson. He's well claimed. Laidley pulled off the football. He got rid of it. Wilson, a high kick in towards full forward. But there is Jeff Miles on the last line of defence. Plays on quickly, getting the hand pass across to David Hart. Hart from the back pocket. Towards centre wing. At the back is Langdon. 
recovers well. Will come in with that left foot. No, elects to use the hand pass and probably should have kicked it. Healy and Langdon again. Healy could have been shoved in the back. The ball goes over the line. He says he was shoved in the back, Peter Cameron. And so Greg Healy to take the free kick. Plays on quickly. Kicks it up towards the 50 metre line. Marking contest at the back. Malaxos nearly gathers it. Now he does. He's tackled by Lovell at the back. Half. Oh, a hell, but he didn't have it. Scott. Play on now. Advantage paid. Malaxos out wide. Keane running in towards the centre. Laurie Keane has tried hard all day. Long kick by Keane towards centre half forward. One on one. Punched away. Melbourne defence under enormous pressure. Grinter up to it. Gets a left foot kick wide into the centre. Coots a chance and takes the mark. He can play on. Runs up towards centre half forward. They're trying the short passes, the Demons. Chance for Spalding. At the back, Jackson. Off it goes to Williams. Over the top. Lovell punch for goal and puts it through. Magnificent goal by Melbourne. And Andy Lovell kicks his second. And, and Melbourne lead end. by two points. The other end of the ground, half of them wouldn't know it was, what was going on because Hughes and Glenn Dinning started in all in. Well, what a remarkable second half of football. And now Melbourne hit back after the Eagles look to be just forging ahead again as we watch this build-up. Jackson was an excellent pick-up and Williams with the left hand off to Lovell. And Lovell, who really showed a lot of composure for a youngster, kicked the goal to put Melbourne in front. So we're back in the centre. And Melbourne have hit the front by two points. Stretch takes it out of the middle. Towards the 50-metre line he goes. Can Melbourne go on with the job? Can the Eagles come back? It's a mark to Matera at half-back. Plays on. Looking for Keane in the centre. Plenty of height. Hart right in the middle. Hooks it over his shoulder. Kicks blindly on that occasion. And goes to Lovett, who's been playing very, very well. 19 possessions for Brett Lovett. Wider to Lyon. Now Steins. Big fella can't pick it up. And sees it over the line. Now we saw Guy McKenna leave the ground. Dixie Marshall, any news on the young man? Sandy is feeling very sore and sorry for himself. He's had a very hefty kick in the ribs. He's in a lot of pain, but he will be okay. Well, that's good news for those people in Western Australia that know him. Yes, he must have also got a kick in the ribs in that, uh, as well as the high head tackle. And a bit of concern being shown by John Todd now. We've got just over six minutes remaining, and there's one straight kick. Over the top line, can't really get the ball out. Worsfold, Miles in there, and umpire Cameron decides to come in and ball it up again. Well, John Morley didn't have much hair on the top of his head before the start of the match, <laughs> probably losing a bit as the day wears on. It's a tight match. Wilson, Lyon, close to the line, and he takes it over, and we'll have another boundary throw in. So it's on centre wing on the outer side, and Melbourne lead by two points. It's under six minutes now. Five and a half left in the game. Stein's over the top. Lewis can't break clear. Keane tries a quick kick out of it. There's a free kick being picked out. Lewis has been held, and he didn't have it, and he'll take the free kick for the Eagles. He goes for the long one, towards centre-half forward. Oh, he nearly had it there, Lockyer. Out the back, Malaxos. Tries to get the hand pass away. Renstead, Turner, they raffle it. Renstead over the top now, puts Miles under pressure. Quick left foot kick. Johnson, great player, Alan Johnson, and he kicks it wide. The safety of the line. Will it go over? It's very close, yes. Just in front of the Eagles player. In main wearing. And the Demon supporters are happy, but don't clap too soon because we've still got five minutes left. Here's the throw in. Turner pulling it back. Johnson couldn't take the mark. Glendinning still going. Hughes a hurried kick. Yeah. And a diving mark at the bottom of the pack. It's a good one taken by Durst. Oh, and he's grabbed his hamstring too. I wonder if it's hamstring or cramp. Looks like just cramp. Hopefully for Jamie Dersman. He's done a very good job at centre-half back. Yes, the past fortnight has been a good one for him. He goes short to Coop. He plays on. He goes over the line and another throw. Gastev, the tackler. Pretty tired players, I would suggest. Yes. Very desperate. Hasn't always been pretty. It's a final. And anything can happen as Hart fires towards goal. He's got it. The Eagles are back in front. And 
the seesaw battle continues. Could that be four or five times this Leeds changed hands uh, from, you know, virtually from what, towards the end of that yep. third quarter? As we see the ruck work came out at the back, it falls to Hart and at full tilt from the 50 metre line. What an excellent kick. And Ross Glendinning was clapping that one through a long way out. Gee, there was some good ruck work by the Eagles there at that boundary throw in two. Three minutes and 52 seconds remaining. Keane taps it out. Who can get it clear? Line a hurried kick, gathers little distance, but it's effective because it finds Earl Spaulding. And at this stage, you look for anything, particularly a 50 metre penalty. To half forward, White jostling for front spot. Scott affects the spoil, waiting down his level, but a great smother. Malaxos onto Matera. The hand pass over the top to Renstead. Another one to Rance. He's back in the middle of the ground. Rance, the left footer, will go long up towards the half forward line. Grinders in front, couldn't take the mark. Langdon waiting down, Lewis a chance, hooks it round his body, but he hasn't hooked it far enough, and the ball goes out of bounds on the fall. Sensational smother up oh, there, wasn't yeah. it, at centre-half back for the Eagles. Kick-in will be done by Johnson. Can Melbourne get back with three minutes remaining? Out towards Dersmith, punched away, Lewis, close to the line. Skillful, left foot kick around the corner. Yates takes the mark. They've got to play on. They must play on Melbourne. It's desperation stakes down with just under three minutes left. Miles takes the mark. And they're holding on grimly, the Eagles. They lead by four points. Miles going for the long kick, which is good stuff at this tight stage of the match. Up towards forward pocket. Punched away. Steins over the top. Love it. A flick on. Healy gathers the football. They're all very tired. Steins has it. Main Wearing has him. Nicely, Gastev out, Rinstead, short kick, chip, up towards full forward. Glendening nearly marks, he's thrown to the ground by Grinder, and the umpires are letting everything go in the last few minutes. The kick to the centre, the mark to Wilson, he's handballed to Lovell, Lovell in the centre, he's got a player in support, he elects to kick up towards half forward, and the mark's been taken by White. White at centre half forward, with under two minutes remaining, he must play on. The kick towards full forward, falling! Can this be a... Oh, what a match. There was nothing in it in the first half. It was all the Eagles, but it's certainly livened up since half-time. Here we go, the replay. It's a short white kick, found the mark again. And I'm sure these Melbourne players are thinking of last year's preliminary final. And it's a similar type game in this tight last quarter. Earl Spaulding really has listed his performance in this last quarter. What the most important kick for the young fella. This, he must think it's going to be the last kick of the match. I don't think it will be. This to give Melbourne the lead if he kicks a goal. He shoots. He's missed. He's missed it. One point. One point with one minute and nine seconds remaining. So the margin is three points, favouring the West Coast Eagles. And Earl Sporting cannot believe his misfortune. His miles into Malaxos. Malaxos, a high kick. No one at home is there for the Eagles, however. And Johnson bursts clear. He's kicked one inspirational goal. Will it be another? From 55 metres, he lets fly. It goes into the square. Fisted down. Lovell is there. Williams is there. He needs support. Throws it out to line. He shoots. He goes. Melbourne are in front. Remarkable. I would suggest that six times the lead has changed since late in that third quarter. What a final, what an elimination final. And really the side that does go, go down is going to be just so unlucky as we watch the fish, the big fish from behind. The ball falls free. Williams was creative with the handball in line with a freakish ability. Kicked a great goal. And the West Coast Eagles now have 37 seconds to win the game. 30 seconds. Fist out and straight down the ground. Can it happen? Goals have been scored in They're going to seconds. try. Matera may have the chance. He fists it on. Down towards the half forward line. Malaxos picks it up with his left foot. Ten seconds remaining. The shot by Renstead is off target at one point. And that will be the decider. There it is. Yes. 
three to Melbourne by two points. <laughs> well, what a finish. There it is. Here's a blend inning. Good sportsmanship. Great sportsmanship. Shaking hands. Renstead, the Eagles cannot believe it. Their season has come to a close. But what a gallant performance it was by the West Coast Eagles. The Demons continue on in their quest for a flag. Look at Skipper Greg Healy. He's delirious. Jamie Desma. Earl Spalding saying bye, G. Thank God Gary Lyon kicked kick that last <laughs> goal. <laughs> oh, there'll be so many stories to be told. But the bottom line is, Melbourne are successful. To be in a situation, Sandy, in a game like that where there has to be a loser, yep. really. Oh, yes. Great joy in the Demon camp for the West Coast Eagles. They gave it their all, times when they looked at home, but it was not to be. Their first foray into VFL Finals football, and I think yeah, they could be proud of it. Oh, it was a tremendous game. They didn't have much for the Demons in the first half, but it certainly livened up after half-time when Melbourne kicked five goals in the third quarter. But not to be uh, done with, the Eagles came back, came back and came back, and still led in the dying minutes of the game. So. A tremendous finish to the match. Alan Johnson chaired off the ground. What a great performance by him personally. But it was a tremendous effort by all players. I thought it was a great match. It was a great game. And the Eagles had the chance when Renstead shot with just eight seconds remaining. He's missed it. But you certainly can't put it down to one. Well, bad luck for the Eagles. The Demons, as the fans... Almost 43 and a half thousand fans here at BFL Park today swarm onto the ground. They will go on, and the West Coast Eagles will look to 1989. Repeating the final score then here in the elimination final. The victors of Melbourne, 11 7, 73, defeating the West Coast Eagles in a thriller, 10 11, 71.